All right, UPS is breathing a sigh of relief after reaching that deal with the Teamsters, but the details are still emerging and the battle may not be over. So we want to bring in WDRB business reporter Chris Sotts. You've been pouring over this announcement yeah. today, looking at all the details. Union leadership seems happy, says it's a good deal. It's really up to the UPS rank and file, though, to vote for this, to decide. What kind of reaction are you hearing from those line workers? Well, I tell you, Scott, I'm, I'm in a Facebook group that has, mm -hmm. you know, almost 30,000 people in it. That's just about this contract. And there was a little poll that they just put up and 75% of the people who answered the poll says not enough information to have an opinion oh, about wow. about this contract. <laughs> so look, the details that we have today really are not details. They're bullet points, right? They are highlights. They're yep. what the the union leadership wants to put out there, but there is a lot more to be discovered. For example, there's nothing in those details about pensions. There's nothing in those details uh, about health insurance and uh, the information about wage increases um, can be a little confusing to interpret. The, the members will learn all of these details over the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah. next week is the time when they will start rolling out. But of course, everyone wants to know exactly right now, what does this mean for me? Uh, and so I think the rank and file members, I, I, it is too soon to say that a strike is totally averted. I think that the, they are going to have to digest these details and decide whether it is enough. It's not a foregone conclusion. Okay, so we kind of mentioned the details. We really right. don't know what they are, but are right. there some big questions that still need to be answered? Uh, there, there are, um, I mean, let's just talk about like what we do know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, they wanted to set a, a, a higher base wage so that they've done that $21 an hour will now be the new entry level pay at UPS. It's currently 15 and 16 because they're a federal contractor, uh, at the other end drivers who are the delivery drivers who are the higher paid. Uh, part of this workforce, they will earn up to almost $50 an hour by the end of this contract. There's also some longevity bonuses in there, but again, we don't know exactly how that will work. These are all things that these members are going to be parsing through when this information comes out over the next week or so. You know, they wanted air conditioning in the trucks. Mm -hmm. We talked about yeah, that only after that. the new right. ones coming in right. 2024. The current but ones. a lot of trucks might last 10 years. I mean, it's going to take right. forever to change yeah. over that fleet. Right, right. And I think the union uh, leadership is looking at, well, what's reasonable for us to get? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And, and before that was an issue that just had no movement at all. On yeah, it. So, it's I, hard so to I retrofit think they're taking it. Right. They're mm -hmm. looking at it and saying reasonably, what can we do? And if they set a standard that says all the new ones have to have it. If the members turn it down, does that mean strike right away or back yeah. to the table? No, it, it probably means strike if they turn it down. Uh, that's that's the only next step. Uh, however, as of next week, don't worry about it. Uh, it's going to take them until August 22nd to vote on this. Okay. Right. So nothing is going to happen before then. So if you were scrambling to order something yeah, really right. quick yeah. because there might be a strike next week and you want to be sure to get your package, don't worry about it. Okay. So the big takeaway strike not totally averted just yet, right? We need to see what the rank and file mm -hmm. thinks of this deal. All right, Chris, thank you so much. We know you'll be digging for much more details. You can read his coverage of this historic agreement right now on our website, WDRB.com.